All right, Joe. So first of all, great work on that fake immunity idol. It looks pretty <laughs> real from where I was sitting. Yeah, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Ah, you know, <laughs> I had to try. I had to try to make it look look real. <laughs> exactly. And and you know, I'm a little confused by Mike's strategy there because he said that by playing the idol that it would show whether he could trust you or not. However, he didn't play the idol on you. That's what he should have done. Because if you were mm. telling the truth, then you would have lasted another, you know, three days or so. What was his strategy there? Why did he play it on Will? Um, you know, I think at that point, uh, Mike kind of reasoned through, you know, is this, you know, he has, he has obviously, unbeknownst to me, he has the blue idol. Um, but... <laughs> I think in his head he was thinking, man, maybe th- could this be, could it maybe be real? Is it real? It looks kind of handmade, you know. And I mean, he asked Jeff, he asked Jeff, can you verify this? So, it, which means there was a shadow of doubt in his mind. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, let's say it was real, and he plays it for me, and I, I stay. Um, I don't, and, and then he looks dumb. So I think it was just kind of like a. It was, you know, he turned around and he just said, "Will" was the first person that he saw. So not mm-hmm. just haphazardly, but you know, it's yeah. I don't know. I think I think he, I think he knew that I was I was trying to pull a fast one, maybe maybe a mm-hmm. little bit, maybe half and half. Who knows? <laughs> it, what was going through your mind when he actually, you know, mentioned that to Jeff? Hey, Jeff, is this real? Oh, uh, my my heart dropped. My stomach, <laughs> and like I was so upset because because now he just exposed it to everybody, and and the fact that he because he said you know is this a fake idol or is it a real idol and now you know and I just loved I just loved to, honestly I loved Tyler and Rodney's little you know vote confessional <laughs> I don't know what's going on um, so yeah. that made it fun that makes it really fun that I, you know it worked to confuse some people um, but. You know, I just, I, I, I figured, oh, I'm outed. Man, you got me. So, obviously, right. he doesn't. But even still, then, at the same time, I'm thinking, oh, maybe this is going to work. Like, is he is he just, but, he, but why would he expose this to everybody? Now, they all know that he would have an idol. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I was a little uh, bit, I was, I was more shocked than anything. And speaking of Rodney, his impression of Mike was so hilarious, so spot on. Can you do a Mike impression, or can you do a Rodney impression? That's even better. Uh, I can do both. So let's. So all right. Uh, yo, here, here's the deal. <laughs> I don't. But here's the deal with Mike. Mike has his like angry ratchet voice. <laughs> like he's on the rig for so long. I don't even know, bro. Like he's got this like whole other <laughs> side of him, and then yo, boss, like boss and hot rod, yo, Jeff, I haven't had a reward in like four days, bro. I need some cars, <laughs> need some never, never, yo. I need a, I need a reward, brother. Like, come on, come on, dude. Like, I love those. Like, we, we would just, oh, it's, it was fun. It was still fun. Oh, man. So, yeah. yeah, a lot of so, the people maybe, that have checked this. Sorry, a lot of people I chatted with, they say that this the the cast is, like, really, really close, and they hang out all the time, you know, away from the show. Like, who do you yeah. hang out with from, from that cast, most of all? Um, you know, I've seen I've seen most everybody uh, a couple times now. Um, I, I spent, I've spent a lot of time with uh, Jen and Haley, um, and, and I've spent some, a good amount of time with Mike. Uh, Tyler, Sierra... Um, I saw Dan, you know, I, I love, Shireen, I've seen them all, like, we've been hanging out, we've been enjoying this together, we've really, like, we're on, we're our own little crazy family, I mean, inside the game, it's cutthroat, and, you know, but we're also building relationships, and having a really cool experience, and I think as fans, we just built this bond, like, this is something really cool, and something, like, a good experience that let's all share in, regardless of outcome, so, Mm-hmm. It's been fun. Like, I made some really good friendships and obviously, like, you know, memories that are going to last forever. So, it's mm-hmm. cool. Um, so, Tyler and Carolyn, they have this really, really special secret alliance. How secret was that for you guys? Did you know about their, their two, two-person two alliance? Um, you know, I think just from my perspective, I knew that they were closer than they let on. 
Um, I didn't know just to the extent of, I mean, obviously, you know, Carolyn has an idol and Tyler is mm-hmm. the only one that knows about it. So they were keeping, I mean, that was, that's pretty, that's some pretty tight, um, locked in trust. Um, but you know, but once the vote, you know, once that, once we get the merge and we see the first vote, I mean, it's pretty obvious where everyone stood in terms of voting and, you know, Tyler, mm-hmm. Tyler and Carolyn never really gave you a definitive answer. And I think that was always just because they needed to check in all the, you know, with each other and kind of correlate what they were going to do together. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, everyone's playing savvy, man. Everyone's playing, everyone's playing sneaky. Did you and Jen and Haley and Shireen, did you guys try to get Tyler and Carolyn on your side or did you know it, it's not going to work? Oh, I'm, I mean, for me, I'm trying to get anyone on my side. So, I mean, it, it's tough because once you're the biggest threat in the game, everyone's just gunning for you, and it doesn't really matter what you say or how you say it. You're you're target number one. So, um, so it was kind of you know everyone else against the no callers, and yeah, I mean we you know we we pitched ideas, we we threw it you know let's let's try to get a blue, let's try to get like I think. Mike is playing a good social game. Let's get Mike, you know, or what, you know, what all the different aspects of pitching ideas just fell on deaf ears, you know, unfortunately. And let's say that you didn't make it to the very end um, magically. Maybe you had to win every immunity, but let's say you made it. Do you think you could have won this? Um, I, I know I could win Survivor. Absolutely. And I know if I get to the end, I plead a very good case. So, I mean, let's say hypothetically, if I win all the immunities straight up, come on, like there's no, I just, yeah. I just won back, you know, that's in itself a testament to how bad I would have wanted it and got it. Um, but you know, if, I don't know, it depends on who I'm sitting next to and if they got a, if they can pitch a better story or if I do something really stupid to get there and, you know, maybe cut some throats along the way. I don't know. Just and a, I never really, I never really had the opportunity to play a strategic game, so it was right. kind of a bummer. Like no one wanted to play with me. <laughs> of the remaining nine people, who would you want to sit next to? Like who could you beat? E- most easily. The most. If I was mm. sitting next to anyone, just from our cast or from the merge. Um, just from like the the nine that are remaining. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. The nine that are remaining. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I probably would have wanted to sit next to Will, Dan. I mean, it is just like the cream of the crop. Will, Dan, and uh, maybe. I don't know. It's either a toss-up between like Jen or Shireen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, depending on who's, um, depending on, yeah, I don't know, depending on how the, it would depend also how everyone's kind of feeling with, within the tribe and who's, who's on, who's on what pages. And what, what happened to Jen out there? It seems like she's completely given up. Um, you know, she, I think, got really upset when Haley left. I think she just kind of lost her friend in the game and now she kind of felt alone and, um, you know, she was in a bad spot. You know, we were on a a, a sinking vessel, and mm-hmm. I, I think she just was a part of her wanted to go hang out at Ponderosa and, and be able to eat and sleep in a nice bed and all those things. But um, strategically, I think she just, out, you know, was ostrac- overly like, hey, I don't want to be here, you guys. I hate all of you. Don't keep me in the game. And it does the reverse psychology of, well, let's keep her around a couple of days. She's not going to play the game. She's not going to be strategic. She's just going to be a. She's just going to sit and mope and like, let's make her miserable. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it could be a good strategy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She could. She could potentially go farther in the game just by by not by right. saying she doesn't want to go farther. So I don't know. I think it might have been half and half because I know she wouldn't quit. Jen Brown would not quit. Would would not quit. So. Mm-hmm. That's and final question, Joe. Did you learn anything about yourself from being out there for almost a month? 
Um, Marcus, I, my life is totally changed. Um, I have such a different appreciation for all the little things, family, friendships, all the relationships that I hold dear. Um, you know, I'm living my life just fearless, you know, and, and, uh, yeah, I learned, I learned a lot and, and it was such a cool experience. I'm going to share this now with all, you know, like I said, my family and friends and it's just, it's cool. Like it's it's really a cool show. It's 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 great. It's help. It's part of my life. Won't have it any other way. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, man. We will see you at the reunion. And hey, maybe there's going to be like another All Stars version. I think you'd be perfect for that. Ah, thanks, man. I hope so. I I, I you know if if Jeff ever calls me, like I'm <laughs> I'm in, dude. I'm in, buddy. Call me. Give me a call. I'm there in a heartbeat. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, Mark, good, good, good chat with you. Yeah, have a good one. You too.